morning YouTube, it's Trev here, Summit or Nothing. Back out today, walking on Dartmoor. Out today, following another one of these walks. Fern will be Shovel Down, Skull and Gidley. There's Gidley. The name Gidley comes from the Saxon word Gidda, meaning clearing. There's two walks again. We'll see which one we do when we get halfway round. Start both walks from the church in Gidley by walking towards the cream-coloured clapboard cottage. 100 metres later, at the T-junction, turn right for Berry Down and Scorrel. 150 metres later, turn left into Woodland side, Mariner's Way, Tincombe. 300 metres later, you will emerge into a clearing. Ignore the main tracks leading left and right and cut straight across the clearing, taking the small track heading steeply downhill between the trees of North Park. At the bottom, turn right, signed Mariner's Way, and continue until a finger post directs you to turn left. We'll do that then. So I've actually walked much of this walk before me and Nathan have been out here and done a walk. It's a midweek, Wednesday, so kids are at school. I've got to do the school run today, so I can't be out too long. So yeah, I just sort of picked one out of the box that was quite close to me. It's either two walks, either walk one, four miles, two hours easy, or walk two, 7.5 miles, four hours moderate. There's a tour up there. So I have a lovely and tranquil in here. Let's see how I get on with this walk. It'd be nice to do the longer one. Continue until a finger post directs you to turn left over the river by a bridge. On the far bank, turn right and scramble up the steep path between the trees. Wow, it's looking a bit different to the last time we was here. They've uh, chopped all the trees down. So yeah, we come down through this forest last time. It's quite a nice tranquil walk, a bit different now. But then it's an operational forest, isn't it? That's what they're here for. Cultivating the woodland. On the far bank, turn right and scramble up the steep path between the trees. All right, there were no trees. Uh, turning right at the top. From this point, follow the footpath signs to the road. Cut across the road and take the path signed Mariner's Way, French Beer. 200 metres later, at the T-junction, turn left, signed French Beer. And at Mariner's Way, cottage, across the lane, taking the footpath signed French Beer. I assume this is where we turn left. The sign was a bit damaged there, but there was a sign there. That was the only T-junction in the path so far, so it had to be, didn't it? Well, as you may or may not know, I've been a bit ill the last week. Man flu. Yeah, not just all for six, but it definitely wasn't Corona. We did have to get a COVID test so my wife could go back in the office. So we got managed to get tests eventually. Bloody nightmare. But yeah, we both passed with flying colours. But yeah, I've come out for a walk today. And I tell you what, I'm not even two miles in and I am quite exhausted and sweating so yeah I'm still not my body's still not right so I might just do the short walk but to be honest the short walk is good anyway it's going to take in Middle Tor and Kestor Rock and then we go over to the uh, Skorl Stone Circle so plenty to see on this walk even if I do the short one and then I won't be racing back for the kids as well so I think it makes sense and at Mariner's Way, cottage, across the lane, taking the footpath signed French Beer. From this point, continue to French Beer Farm, County Road by the well-defined Mariner's Way footpath. At French Beer Road, the two walks diverge. 
Uh oh, tree down, diversion. It's another nice peaceful walk here today, through here. been quite a lot of down trees this morning crossing paths quite a lot of climbing I've had to do which is annoying though because I've knocked my lens cap off at some point so I don't know where that is frustrating I know I shouldn't have bought it I've only took one photo okay so now we've reached the part where the two walks diverge so if you have a look at the map you can see one goes on quite a lot further following country lanes until we get down to the edge of Fernrevy Reservoir and we sort of just walk across the northern side of Fernrevy Reservoir and then we go up under, underneath Formervy Tor over the Three Boys Standing Stone, Stone Rose and then we meet the original walk at Batwavy Corner or Walk A, it's a bit shorter but it's going to take us past French Beer Rock middle tour over Kestor Rock and then onto Batravi Corner. Now I think for the sake of just seeing a bit of the reservoir and the stone rows I've already seen so I think we're going to do the shorter walk and then I'm not racing all day either. Walk one, turn right onto the road and climb a steep hill. Cross a cattle grid and continue walking for another further 300 meters. Turn right off the road at this point and climb uphill to French Beer Rock. precipitation in the air as well, a lot really hazy around. So we're going in a minute over to Middle Tor and then you can just see behind it Kestor Rock stands on its own, it's a bit like Ayers Rock but not as impressive. Take it this is form of Etor over here. Nathan and I have been over there and we've walked across here and that was horrendous. Um, straight line in it it's dangerous to straight line and that was one of those areas where we almost got caught out don't do it middle tour so nice to have this to yourselves again a bit more normality back to Dartmoor that's beautiful
ourselves again today. It's about 17 people up on Castor Rock now. Dinner time, innit? They've all stopped for their lunch. Castor Rock. Oh, it's lovely, isn't it? So yeah, that's where we're going to go. Head over there now to the corner of that woodland, Batwavi. Then and out around there, we're going to go and find Scorrel Stone Circle. Ah, I might just have a bite to eat and take this in a minute. Beautiful. heading away from Kestel Rock now. Yeah, this walk is supposed to be four miles and take two hours. View range is saying I've done 4.7 miles already and I've been walking for two and a half hours, but I've just stopped for about half an hour. So <laughs> I don't know how they measured the time and the distance on them, but you know, I'm stomping fair as well. And I, yeah, I do a little bit of filming here and there, but we're about two thirds of the way around, I should think. I'll be surprised if it's much less than seven miles by the time we get back. Now you can see these tours coming up. The little hound tour up there. Steeperton tour. Wild tour. And Watton tour. You can make out the shape, just make out the shape of that weird rock formation up there. At Batwavy Corner, continue by keeping to the granite wall to your right hand side all the way to the River Tyne. Cross the River Tyne by the Clapper Bridge, cut straight across the rough ground and cross the second Clapper Bridge over Woolbrook, then continue uphill to Scorrel Circle. Here we are now, Scorrel Stone Circle. What it says, this is the finest Bronze Age circle on Dartmoor. Circa 2000 BC. Some 25 meters in diameter, it originally comprised some 60 standing stones, the tallest being 2.2 meters in height. Scorrel was obviously of great ceremonial significance and is one of a group of circles aligned in a curve at regular intervals on the northeast border of Dartmoor. If you stand at the centre of the circle on a midsummer evening, the sun will set behind the tallest stone. Was the circle therefore a device to determine the change of seasons? Well, it's done me the world of good getting out for this walk. I was a bit sort of hot under the collar when I first started, but I've soon uh, burnt that out of my system. Now I feel raring to go. So we're heading in now. You don't need to see the rest of the country lanes. So thanks ever so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Check out our channel, there's lots more hiking, wild camping, mountains, gear review, all sorts. Take care, thanks for watching, cheers.